Just for reference, this is not on the quiz. Wait a minute. But you have that disc at home, you know, with the anatomy and stuff. Just make sure you're still going over that. Yeah, you can This here is a KUB, and I want you guys to critique it and tell me what's right or wrong with it. Miss the bottom, Miss the That's it. That's this pretty much it. This is, um, I have to repeat this film. What they probably did, they probably shot an extra 10 by 12 on the, uh, of just the black. So they clipped it. They don't have the symphysis pubis on there. Um, so they probably just shot a little 10 by just the bladder and turned them both in. What about this one? That's a male. Actually, it's a KUB. Um, it's a fairly decent film. It's a little low. I mean, you don't need this much of the ischium. Um, just skimming this uh, pubis synthesis would be sufficient. But I right hear. Looks like you have kidney shadow on there. And this kidney shadow is probably superimposed by the distended valve. Yeah, you can't see the cell edge. You kind of can see a faint line, maybe, but maybe I'm making it up. You're making it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stretching the truth there. I got my glasses on. It's not there. <laughs> yeah. If you look real close at the bladder, it's a pretty big sized bladder. All, the whole circle there, all the white. That's a gigantic distended black. <coughs> this would be what? It's a <laughs> oh, you want me to see what I said last time? Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is the cubitus abdomen. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's their spine? Scoliosis. Uh, pretty ratty spine there. Where would you put the marker? I don't see a marker here. This side or this side? <coughs> the left side. The left side. No, you put the marker on the right side, the side that's up. Well, I mean left of the, the screen. screen. Oh, yeah, 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 gotcha. Good, good. good. Yeah. So you put the right marker here. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have a mark on that one. But. And you just look at the heart, you can tell if it's a left lateral decubitus, the left side is down, so you, that's the right side up. And you can kind of see a little fluid. Well, it's not the best picture. All right, this slide here, we have uh, KUB. And what do you think this? Two? No. Enters? No. The calcified cartilage of the ribs. Oh, oh. So there's their, the end of their rib probably, and this is just the rib cartilage, and it's all calcified. Oh. Yeah, it looks like they also have a calcified aorta yeah. right here. Yeah, this is probably a really old patient. Oh, and you can see actually it looks, uh, these bifurcations here have calcified iliacs. All the calcium out of their bones and into their cartilage and their vessels. <laughs> what view is this? The dorsal decubitus abdomen. And we saw this on the slides. There's that calcified aorta. And what do you think is going on with this patient? Is that in a large bowel? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. actually, believe it or not, an upright abdomen. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the leads, actually, that might be, what do you think that is on this? Some kind of snaps? Mm -hmm. like snaps? Or, it doesn't look like leads because of placement. It doesn't, look, yeah. it doesn't even look like snaps because of placement. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Subcutaneous jewelry? <laughs> <laughs> this patient has a serious <laughs> bowel obstruction. Yeah. Oh. So, so you're right, Kath, that is distended. Yeah, somewhere down here, 
they have an obstruction and the fecal matter and gas isn't getting out, so it's blowing it up. This patient, I'm sure, is in a lot of pain. And their bowel, probably if you see them, their abdomen is probably all bloated looking. Now, what do you think this? <laughs> that's an upright. Upright, that's right. And you can tell fluid. by these horizontal air fluid lines, and it almost looks like little step stones up throughout the abdomen. <coughs> you guys know what this is right small, here? Small it's like a angio tube. It's a nasogastro tube. Yeah, feeding tube. So it's going down through the esophagus into the fundus of the stomach. So it's curled up into the stomach there. Oh, it's their hands. This is called. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> this slide is called. Looks like we are nice and comfortable. Yes. <laughs> Either that or had a big dinner. <laughs> Or that, that point where they hurt. They're like, oh. You know. Can you shield this stuff? <laughs> okay. Now, what happens? The tech? It's a race. That, that's probably some. Do you think that's residual barium? Right there, Linda? Huh? You think um, that's residual barium? It looks like it. Probably it is. They if, may it were, had a, if it were a little higher, you could say it would be a fibroid, but I don't think so. It doesn't look like kind yeah. of that. Looks like barium. And then even in their. Behind their hands, it might be some. They either had a CAT scan of the abdomen where they drank some barium contrast or, you know, an upper GI study, something like that. So the tech told yeah, them to move their hands, and then as the tech walked away, they. Probably. Okay. They were probably out of it to begin with, and, you know, the tech put their hands down and turned their back. Ugh. What I always tell the students in the clinical site when you're making that exposure, watch your patient, you know. Don't, don't just go set them up and then look at the machine and hit the button and watch the button. That's not going to do you any favors. <laughs> chances are they're going to scratch their head or when they take in their deep breath, their whole body is going to shred. <laughs> so if you have your finger on the rotor, which you're, you're not pressing it all the way, you're just rotoring it up, tell them to hold their breath, don't move, whatever. You watch them, make sure they're holding absolutely still, they haven't shifted or anything, and then you make the exposure. So always watch them because that tech probably just was paying attention to their machine and patient, patient put their hands on their belly. They would have been able to caught it and not have to redo that. And that's yeah. a bracelet too. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have, uh, what do you think that is? Not enough KVP. <laughs> Upright <coughs> abdomen. There's fluid, abdomen. There's fluid yeah. lines. And it looks like they're kind of clipping the right diaphragm. Got the marker in the wrong place. Yeah, the, the marker is in the diaphragm there. So you want it to be down here. It's an upright abdomen. You want to keep your marker down. And uh, of course, get all that diaphragm. What do you see different than that one? That's a KUB. Too low. Uh, it's a little low, but I think it's sufficient to see what's going on with this patient. I bet that's the same as the other patient. Look at those two. Because you see where you, the impaction is high there? And it was real high on the other one. You see oh, that? yeah. Because that, normally you see an impaction lower. All that? Yeah, that's a fecal impaction. You normally see that lower. See the fuzzy stuff? It's black and white mix. Mm -hmm. That's feces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right yeah. here, see you see this whole gigantic uh, fecal impaction there. That's a lot. Yeah. So that's what it is. Yeah, Metamucil. And I hate to be around when they get that out. <laughs> normally they see that lower, huh? Yeah, normally it is lower. So that's probably way up in the transverse or something. Or even this small bounce 
Go back and show the box.